Andrew Luck, just saw him there, has posted two straight solid fantasy performances. Fabs, does he make it three in a row? Yeah, I think so. You know, we've been talking a lot about how it doesn't look like he's got that deep ball. Hasn't mattered because he's still putting up very good stat lines. This week, he plays the Jets. They've given up an average of 19 fantasy points per game to quarterbacks on their home field. We saw that last week with Case Keenum, who had over 20 points to get them. So start Andrew Luck. And guess who's back? Jameis Winston. He's going to be in my top 10 quarterbacks for week six. This is a great matchup against Atlanta. They have allowed four straight top 10 fantasy quarterback performances money. That's bad. They're also allowing over 34 points per game at home. They've also given up over 32 points per game to quarterbacks on their home field. And worth pointing out, Jameis had a tremendous preseason and just a weird set of circumstances that got him into that game last week. Shake that mm -hmm. off, like you said. Play and that great matchup. Bears also. Let's go. Exactly. Let's go to the sleeper. Andy Dalton, you know what? Andy Dalton did not perform up to snuff last week. Thought he'd have a better game than he did, but I do like him against the Steelers. They've allowed the second most fantasy points to quarterbacks this season. They've also allowed three top 10 quarterbacks in their first five games. So the Red Rifle, who's on the waiver wire in a lot of leagues, can be picked up and started. And I think you're sticking with this game when we start with your sits, are you not? And Ben Roethlisberger and his troubles away from Heinz Field continue. This is a guy who has really struggled in Cincinnati as well. He has failed to score 15 plus fantasy points in six of his last eight games in the Queen City. The Bengals have not allowed a top 12 quarterback at home this season. So Big Ben needs to find a spot on your kind. Another big name who I think you should sit this week, Philip Rivers. And I get it. He's been very good for your fantasy football team. But the Browns at home, they're so tough. They've allowed the second fewest fantasy points to quarterbacks in Cleveland. And the Browns have allowed only one top 10 fantasy quarterback all season long. So if I were you and I had Rivers, I'd be looking to pick up Jameis Winston or Andy Dalton and put Rivers on the pie. All right.